You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Hilda is asking, how does Epstein-Barr virus cause cancer mm. and is there a vaccine? Mm. Great questions. Um, Epstein-Barr virus is a difficult one. Um, it is so common, as you know, it's uh, mono. Um, a lot of people have had exposure to it. Um, it is what we consider an oncolytic virus. Now, the question of how does it cause cancer uh, is a lot more complicated. It probably causes cancer in different ways in different people and different cancers. Uh, so uh, typically viruses like this will um, insert their, their DNA into our genome. And so it gets copied along with uh, you know, our DNA when our cells reproduce. And so that random insertion can interfere with certain gene functions. Mm. Um, they also have specific genes that are uh, involved in growth processes. So that can overactivate certain cells to grow in an oncolytic mm. way. Mm. Uh, Epstein-Barr virus uh, doesn't have a vaccine yet, although I believe as of 2018, they did develop a, disease, uh, a vaccine, mm. uh, the AMMO1 vaccine. Uh, I do recall... Um, reading about that mm. just recently. Mm. Um, it's not a production yet. Oh, it's okay. just an antibody. Okay, so it's still pretty. Yeah, yeah, it's not definitely, right. it's definitely not a vaccine yet. Um, it's now the problem with the Epstein-Barr virus is it is a complicated virus. Mm. Um, number one, it affects two types of cells. It affects your skin cells, your epithelial cells. It also affects um, B cells. Mm. which are part of your immune system. And that's why it causes mono, it suppresses your immune system. Mm. It can also cause certain types of cancers of the blood, um, lymphomas and so on. Mm. Um, it also has uh, two unique, um, so, so viruses have two different stages. They have, um, they have basically a stage um, that they are growing and copying themselves. And then they have a stage where they burst open mm. the cell. Mm. Um, those are the two main stages and they also have a latency sort of stage mm. so they can express different proteins at different times and certain mm. viruses you know like um, HPV and so on and herpes can hide out by expressing different proteins at different times of their life cycle mm -hmm. so with the Epstein-Barr virus it has a different um, there's a latency cycle and a lytic cycle mm. and latency is when it just kind of hides out um, and it looks completely different in both cycles. Uh, so it's hard for the immune system to recognize it uh, mm -hmm. based on antibodies. Mm -hmm. And plus it affects the two different cell types. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it just has a lot more options to avoid our immune system. Mm -hmm. So it's a hard one to treat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there, a vaccine is in development, I guess, is the answer. Um, they have an antibody. Um, when it gets turned into a vaccine is another question altogether. Okay. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.